Welcome everybody to Miguel's Garage where we help you drive your dream. This is car of the day where we dream, we dream. I have a dream that one day we're all gonna be able to drive a different car every day. And if that was possible today, I will be driving the Jaguar XJX. Uh, this is a pretty interesting car and it has some challenges coming uh, into production right off the bat. This car was produced from 1975 to uh, 1996 and its job was basically to replace the Jaguar E-Type uh, and the XKE. So as I said, this car was produced from 1975 to 1996 and it actually sold over 115,000 units which is a lot, I mean, for the time frame, uh, the time period, and the type of car that they were making. Now, this car initially came equipped with a 5.3 liter overhead valve V12, and it produced 285 horsepower with a top speed of 149 miles per hour. And it got you to 60 pretty quick with a, a, a time of about 7.3 seconds, uh, which is, for the time being, uh, pretty good. And 30,000 pounds, it would be just fine, but at 40,000, it's starting to play games with the big boys. And they don't come much bigger or better than this big Brit Bruiser. Now this car was initially offered as a hardtop only, I believe. Correct me if, guys if I'm wrong on that, but I think it was initially just offered as a uh, hardtop version only. And then later on they introduced, uh, I think it was the, the removable hardtop and then the convertible last, which was one of those uh, more memorable options for, for that car, I think. A lot more people preferred the uh, convertible top and, and I know that a lot of people uh, actually have very fun memories of these cars and you know wanting to have a, you know a car like this with a V12. Now later on they also offered I think it was an, uh, towards the end of the production they offered a V6 uh, engine I think it was a 3.6 inline uh, V6. Now if you're new to the channel Please, I'm gonna do a little bit of a beg here and beg. I'm on my knees, I'm not on my knees, but I just think that I'm on my knees. Please subscribe, hit that uh, bell, give me a like, give me a comment. Uh, it's, it's all a community effort. We wanna make sure that people buying these cars, they're getting the right information and they're getting you know good value out of these videos. So collaborate, give us some good comments, put them below. Now, these cars were not cheap, uh, brand new. These cars were about $60,000, $62,000. I mean, this is in, you know, 30, 40 years ago. So this is, you know, these cars were not cheap. And today, you know, you can find these cars for, you know, anywhere six dollars to $12,000, uh, depending on the condition, obviously. But I believe these cars are actually gonna start appreciating a little bit more in the near future so thank you for watching thank you for listening uh i'll see you tomorrow again with another car of the day